Hey, Abraham Lincoln, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Sup, bro? How you doing, sir? Give me just one moment while I promote on the socials. How you doing, Aris Delta? Welcome to the stream. Alrighty. How's everybody doing this evening? What do y'all think about this update? Hey, Imperial Orc, how you doing? <laughs> I think your time for voting is done for, Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to be real with you. Um, so, welcome, Nugs. Alright, why don't I have my counter here on the top corner? I copy paste this. Paste. There you go. Perfect. All right. So here's the patch notes, at least the small ones that are in game. Yes, this is PC. Um, no Man's Sky Orbital brings a total visual overhaul of space stations, the ability to create your own custom starships out of salvaged parts, improvements to guilds, and more. For full details, please see nomansky.com. Bit better than expected, worse than had hoped for. What does that mean, Harris Dilt? <laughs> Grog gang, rise up. Thank you, Sterion. Alright, so the bullet points. Overhaul of space stations. Interior and exterior station variation. Salvage parts to create custom starships with custom colors. Improvements to the guild standing and trading systems. And much more. Hey, Elliot. Uh, welcome to your first stream. Yeah, sadly, it's not on Xbox. Alright, so, I don't know if I should... I'm not going to read the patch notes. I kind of just want to dive in on the stream. And later on, I'm going to read the patch notes and maybe make a video detailing everything. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so. New UI tool in the beginning. So, how do I freaking skip this all that I hate? Alright. Oh. I haven't played it all, so it's going to be a fresh look into it. Thank you, sir. How's everybody doing? How's the audio levels, too? Oh. This is the space station? That is legit. That's GLaDOS back there. What? This is nice. Holy cow. That is so dope. Um, I know people already tested to use a station override. It doesn't work. So I guess that's going to be another update after this one. Thank you, Orc. So, way more detailed interior. Way more polished look than what we had. We, keep in mind, we've had the same station since 2019 or 2018, uh, No Man's Sky Next. They did add other stuff onto different vendors and stuff, but we still had that same layout for like the longest. Yeah, bro, this just came out. Was it today? I, I believe it was today. Hey, Skeleton, welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a while. So, this looks like it's space for future expansion if you look at it. For real, it's been what, what we've been waiting for. You're right. So, this is lit, bro. Look at that. I know there's nothing there that you could go to, but like the scale of this is so much bigger. Holy cow. 
And we have like the usual exosuit upgrade station and stuff, but it's just more cohesive. What vendor is this? Come on. Okay, exosuit technology merchant. All right, movement. I'm gonna buy one. Why not? Oh, look. Depending on your standing on the factions that you have right now, for example, look, standing discount 19%. So since I'm not the most famous with a Corvax, I get this 19% discount, but the more you upgrade your standing, the higher that discount. <laughs> For real. Oh, really, Starian? Well, welcome to the stream. What was I going to look for? Oh, my standing. <whistles> 39, that's not bad, but it's not like maxed out, I don't think. What would maxed out be? I'm going to be savior in one. You could... Excuse me. You could finally build the hauler you always wanted. And there's even combinations that you can make with this new system that aren't findable in-game. And also different colors too. Alright, so. The upgrade station for the multi-tool. See, this is a blank slot, but they could definitely add new terminals in the future. So they definitely have more things in mind. And they're making an expansion to these stations that accommodate all that new stuff, you know. Because we were kind of running out of room in these old stations. Weapon terminal, nice. These little server farm things. Sup? Toto Tarkis. Alright. Technology. This is dope. The attention to detail is crazy. Reactor. I think I need the reactor too. It's either a... A renaming of the hyperdrive module. Or you also need one to build new ships. So I'm going to buy one. Definitely. Oh, no, no, no. Hypergravity module is a completely different thing. So these um, reactors are what you need as like a core that will de determine the class of ship when you build them. Which is what I want to do. Let me see. Oh, you can also swap ships with your quick menu without having to like go to a freight or anything, but I had to find it. Oh, summon vehicles, switch dock ship. See. Okay. I mean, I like the ship and all, but I like the cockpit more than the whole design of it. So, let me just check this. Did I already forget how to play this game? No, I'm not Sokolo. I am, I think, Brolodice system right now. Nola Nova. Oh. And yesterday, I bought this monitor, so what timing? Uh, it's, I think, 144 hertz. The difference in frame rate is just so crazy. Like, I don't get a headache or anything looking at the stuttering. Because I have 60 hertz on my other monitor. But I was starting to get headaches playing, so I was, like, taking a break from it. But this definitely helps a lot. Whoa. Whoa. Chillax. All right. So, what was I doing? Oh, let me scrap a ship. Yeah, there's definitely room for more content to be added. This is like the guild thing. His own little desk. Bro, talk to me, bro. I think uh, Captain Steve had the same problem. He had to like, aim at something else, not at them. Oh, maybe I have to go behind the desk. <laughs> Sup, bro? Okay, so you could donate... Randomly chosen items to increase your faction level, but you could also redeem free stuff and discounted stuff like oxygen discount You could get 60% on that so you could buy a bunch of that up You could get free ion batteries free stuff Brightness and nits and I it's an IPS panel definitely I think micro IPS But I don't know the brightness and nits it has HDR But I don't think it's full HDR because it was not super expensive but um I was more interested in having that frame rate because, and having two monitors because I sold my old one 
like a really old monitor I had. So I couldn't really stream without having like one window inside of another and it was a pain, so I hadn't streamed in a while. But now with this setup, it's a lot simpler. How do I check the brightness? Well, I don't have the box here with me. Hmm. All right, anywho. Back to the game. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Oh, that's dope. It shows you as a hologram. Appearance modifier. That looks like it's the same. Is this here the ship builder? Okay. I have the reactor core. I don't have any of the... Um, excuse me. Any of the parts to build with. What I do like too is that when you scrap a ship to take a part out of it, you only get one at a time, so you don't just don't get everything unlocked all at once. And also, it's a one-use item. You don't just unlock that part for unlimited uses. So it it keeps ship building in the meta, you know. It doesn't just eliminate ship building, um, ship building, ship hunting altogether. It like, um, it's a supplement to that gameplay instead of replacing it, which I like. Salvage analysis. Extract customization module. There you go. Cockpit wings or engines. I think I'm going to take the cockpit. So we got Omega. So the names that we had for all these parts, we had like not standard names. We just as a community all came up with names for these guys but now we have official names from hello games for omega cockpit radiant cockpit hot rod needle nose i think that was one that was already pretty standard alpha cockpit vector fuselage sleek speeder i think was always a snow speeder so that's pretty accurate turbine all right so i need to get some wings and thruster so Let me see what other ships I can scrap. Wait, let me buy this fighter before it leaves. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, Ooh, I also noticed that the interface buttons are slightly... Well, you can't see because my face is in the way. Uh, the interface buttons here are new. Small detail, but... Looks nice. Bye. So imagine making like a starter ship like this, but like in a different color. Or making the original Rasamama. I don't know if those parts are still in the game. To make the original starter ship that we had on launch, that would be dope. We gotta look into that. Like the attention to detail, look. Just at a glance, you know that this is a Corvax station. You can see here it's trading, or what is it, Econom economical? Or am I looking too deep into this? Is this telling you what the economy of the system is? I guess I'm looking too deep into it. This is just showing you that this is the place to buy stuff. All right. <laughs> oh, look. It blinks now. <laughs> that is so dope. The little, well, I'm short, so you can barely see it, but... Upgraded Galactic Trade Journal. Very nice. Okay. Alright, so before I get distracted again, let me scrap that ship I just bought. No, not here. Here. No. Wrong thing. position module should I do the wings or I think I'm gonna do the engines okay so I need one more fighter for the wings too bad I can't see even like the screenshots of them here on the bottom of the screen because it's kind of glitched out hmm. let's see what this is Ooh, I like these wings. Nice, nice. Right, 
Um, let me see if I have anything in that ship. Nope, I do not. What do you mean your F8s? <laughs> like a fighter jet type of thing? I keep going to the wrong terminal. Customization module. Wings. All right, so I think we have everything we need to build a ship. All right, so chat, we need to name this ship. I need some ideas. Oh, I got you. Okay. I mean, it's not the most beautiful ship, but oh shit. I backed out of it. But for a first ship, it's not that bad, huh? Okay, so. Can I look around it without backing out? Paint style. Red. Full red. A170 Lightning. The anom anomaly. Anomaly. Anomal. Fuck, I can't even read it right. Anomalnator. Ah. Uh, hmm. Maybe. How is this. <laughs> How is this yellow and dark yellow? What this is, this is like pale yellow and this is regular yellow. I don't know what they're on. <laughs> dark pink. I don't think that's even a color, is it? Wait, there's another dark yellow. F400 Phantom 3. Very numbery. Anomalator. Oh, okay. Anomal. Anomal nature. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the McDonald's look, or what are we doing? It is piss yellow. It is, and this is like a dehydrated piss yellow here. <laughs> Ooh, what does it look like? All white. Oh, that's nice. Now, let's see. Can we do a little red accents? Ooh, ooh. Why isn't there black? I would have loved. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. When you do metallic, it looks a lot darker. But I guess not. Dang it. I think I like the white with the red highlights for a first ship, but I don't know if we're going to do metallic or matte. White, yellow. Mm. Maybe white with the yellow highlights? No, it doesn't pop enough for me. Let's do that. Let's do this. Ooh, that looks a lot nicer. But I think I'm going to do full white with just a little red trim or blue trim. Let's do red. Okay, so let me just eat mini mini mo this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do anomaly later. I think I have to name it after assembling it. Oh, okay. Additional components. Okay. Add to collection. Okay. Can we launch out of this? Okay. Oh, let me move my face. That's lit. Anomalator. <laughs> Anom. V, why not? Alright. Yeah, we can launch straight out of this. Nice. And what I've noticed in different um footage is that different space stations have different entrances. Oh, I'm going back in. This one has like an arched entrance and there's different styles as well. Sunblock out. <laughs> For real, it's like a teepee. Alright, that's dope. That's dope. So let's explore some more stations, but first I want to check out Umbrella Dice because I haven't been there in a while. It says 12 bases. 
We went from 200 and something to 12. So what's y'all's favorite part of the update so far? <laughs> what do you mean sneak into the devs hideout and sabotage? Hmm. Nah, I miss me with that. Where it all started. Roller dice. Trailer park. Spacecraft carrier. Kinda wanna see the spacecraft carrier. That's what I love about going to our planets is that it's always like a roulette. You never know what kind of base you're gonna run into. Space stations. That's definitely what I would like more than the shipbuilding because it's nice but I never really was the person to beg for shipbuilding but I do know it was like on the top of everyone's list of uh, most wanted features oh this is literally a carrier all right land oh this is legit Look at that. That's like a cargo with a little crane and everything. This is lit. What? Who built this base? How can I look at the name? Where's the base computer at? Oh, right here. Shady Black Cat. Good job. Very nice job. Oh, look. <laughs> that is the most creative use of a hologram projector I've seen. Look, they have like a little proto -geek at the controls of this. <laughs> that just made my night. That's cute. And they have another one here. Oh, I gotta do that now. I'm gonna copy that. Okay. I think it's like the inner core of the ship. Oh, this is humongous. It's like the TARDIS. I love this build, wow. Check put STKOG, what does that mean? Sorry. I'm a little brain foggy right now. You're gonna call it Camino. Is it Camino a, a water world though? Or am I tripping? Or are you gonna melt it into a water planet? Okay. A little armory. Oh, okay. I missed the turret over there. Okay, that's how you get into the under layers. Oh, I have a pool? Or no, this is like a submarine hatch, I guess, is what you would call it, not a pool. <laughs> Oh, okay. Bubble Schnickel. Alright. Is that a base as well? Kingdom of God. I'm real nice. Okay. Huge cityscape. Okay, nice. Let me see if I can find it. It's here on Brawl Dice, is it? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Look at these cannons. <laughs> Liberty, justice, and democracy. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me stop lollygagging. I'm, I'm gonna check out that one base and then go to another system. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Brolo dice is still as beautiful as ever. Let's see if I can find her. <laughs> let's see. Side view. 
Earth pin. Someone pinned the earth. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Brodax castle. Nipropolis. <laughs> What's that colony? You said it's called STKOG. Sometimes it doesn't load in, so hopefully it does. Here. Okay, inhumane labs. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm not going there. <laughs> I don't think it loaded in, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you put the brightness on this thing? Okay, that's better. Alright, so let's go to Naboo next. Oh, did you comment that today or yesterday? Because I think I, I replied to a comment today um, saying something about leaving the coordinates in the Discord. Let me see. While we go to the space station, I'll check that out real quick. Are you the person that posted about the planet Gaisha? Or is that not you? Because someone commented that like either today or yesterday. Elliot. What am I doing? Anomaly time. Oh, ages ago. I got you. Uh, I might have missed it. I have to go back and read a bunch of old comments I never replied to. Sorry about that. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so now space stations are on the same level as Anomaly design-wise because we had a pretty lacking. I mean, we did have those rooms. That was a plus, but um, I do definitely like this new design better. Way better. Dopest game to date? I agree. There's nothing like No Man's Sky. Oh, skeleton. Did you ask on the Discord server or on a comment? Okay, so let's go to first Naboo. We're going to see how the Naboo station looks. Comment. Got you, got you. Uh, oh, sorry, I missed it. <laughs> okay, me. All right. <sighs> Naboo's looking beautiful, as always. The only thing I don't like is that um. Those little decals, you can't change all the decals, just some of them. Tricorder said, nice, of, nice to see you solo, or I guess Nolo. Thanks for including me in one of your base showcase videos. Of course, of course, tri Tricorder. You built, if I had to remember, did you build the one on the top of the, the pillars? I'm trying to remember which base, because um, I think you went by a different name on on PlayStation or PC, whichever platform you had on. Underground research facility. Okay, awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, I love that base. Okay, let's see. Negligible noise, yes. Okay, definitely remember you now. My favorite part about, um, our little community we've built is just that we have this sort of um, continuity where every few months we just um, check back in on each other, you know, and we just continue to just build things and just have a common ground, you know. I think that's pretty cool. Tricore Transmission just became a member. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member. 
And the music just switched right when you became a member. That's awesome. Unless that's the notification music. I think it might be the notification music. Thank you, track order. If it is notification music, it's pretty loud. It's pretty. Okay, so. This isn't a pirate system. This is just a regular system. It just has a completely different vibe. Skeleton, we're going to be the master builders. Yes. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Every every membership counts. Every view counts. If all you can do is just watch videos, it might not be a lot monetarily, but all that matters is that we, um, we just stick together and just have like a little community, you know? I still can't live off of the channel, but um, it definitely helps a little bit with at least paying one or two bills, you know? Okay, so. The vibe is definitely different. It's like a more orange and blue. Oh, I didn't even notice that ambient like smoke effect. He's a like, yes, sir. Here's a mercenary guild. Come on. I have to go behind the desk. We'll get a free walker brain. Yes, sir. Community, when Dyson Sphere become a thing. Imagine. Imagine when mega structures. I know Stellaris has mega structures, but imagine one, station ownership, and two, mega structures. Imagine if like everyone in the community had to come together to one system and like donate materials to build something i think that would be something interesting that they could probably look into they probably already have it in the works um, at least something like it free ammunition makes sense because of um this is the freaking mercenary guild mordite please be module why not let me donate some i'm not donating the salvage glass i'm gonna donate that same walker brain they gave me to farm some reputation <laughs> All right. The high refresh on the monitors a game changer. You can make it as well. I mean, yeah, I guess you can uh literally build the Dyson sphere, but you can't build it around a star at least. Look at the small amount of detail like right here, the little decals. I wonder what that says. Any No Man's Sky language experts can decode this real quick or screenshot Okay, so definitely a different vibe, similar layout, because this is a Corvax system as well, I believe. Are all our systems Corvax? I'm about to find out because I'm going to go to Socolo next. Definitely try quarter. Morse code too. <laughs> they already have it translated in them. Um, Oh, when we get to a GEC system, I'm going to show you something very special. Uh, 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 uh. Now we're going to the Nisperatu Galaxy. Planet Sekolo. Do you think they'll ever add weird shaped planets instead of a ball giant shard of a planet with mountains that stretch over the atmosphere? Um, it's not impossible because they've added really strange things in the past, but um, at the same time, They've actually gone more towards the grounded than the sci-fi. As of recent, for example, they've made more realistic uh, graphics with the stations and stuff. So if anything, I think they'd lean more towards the realism. Like for example, you can't really have a planet that's shaped like a shark. At least planet, oh shoot, no. Okay, I'm alive. Um, just due to gravity and stuff, like large bodies in space kind of tend to round out. <laughs> they can make a square like it's Minecraft. Well, actually, I am a Cuban, so I come from a cube planet, so I would know. But no, um, they might. If you think about it, Sar, uh, Sean explained in one of his live streams once that the planets are actually generated on a cube of, um, what do they call it? Not vertexes, of, um, shoot, this is going to kill me. 
you know how uh, Minecraft is made of voxels. So those voxels are generated in a cube shape. They're not generated as a sphere, but they have a certain projection that turns it into a sphere. Something like that. Some crazy math thing. Because they said it's easier to do the math on a cube than on a s sphere. So technically all No Man's Sky plants are cubes. They're like about yay thick and uh, cubical. And then they just project it onto a round surface. Something like that. Voxel. There you go, Ellie. <laughs> Sokolo's beautiful. All our planets are beautiful. Chat, what's your favorite of our planets? Okay, this song is getting annoying. Alrighty, so let's. Baby, won't you come my way? No, Sentinel. I'm trying to pull the Sentinel out. I haven't been to Sokolo yet, but bro, that's spectacular. Oh, you should go to Sleep Skeleton if you have something important to do tomorrow. I know I have to work tomorrow, but I definitely wanted to at least get a, an hour or two in streaming wise because this update is just massive. I know all three planets are Earth-likes and people might say that they're boring, but there's something special about these three planets that I just feel like they're very um, ethereal in a weird way. I don't know. Even Brolodice, which is not exactly an Earth-like because of the green sky and everything. You could kind of say it's half Namek, half Earth, but um, yeah. Oh, it's spring term? Alright, then you can stay up as long as you want. Alrighty, so let's see how many uploads are registering right now. 13, 14. Uh, oh well. I really wish that they would fix that. Because there's definitely more than 13 bases here. Hey Entity Onyx Jet. Uh, he's not signed into YouTube, but he sent a ping through Discord. Wait, what? Wait, guys, can't we go and commit crimes against the NMS community and not get banned? What, what does that even mean? <laughs> You're good, bro? We're not about to start encouraging people to commit crime. Not on this channel. Have any of y'all played uh, Helldivers 2? Might get off Tears of the Kingdom and go play some No Man's Sky soon. Is Tears of the Kingdom the sequel to the Zelda Breath of the Wild? Our crimes against sentinels. <laughs> yeah, only crimes against sentinels. Oh, the unwritten handbook on what not to do, i.e. griefing. Uh, we're not encouraging any griefing here. We're actually anti-griefing. Uh, if you look in our Discord server, we have actually like a whole squadron that goes after people who who grief and like they put bounties on their head and stuff. It's pretty, pretty cute. <laughs> Can't play Helldivers, I have a bad eye, and I can't play FPS type games. Oh, well if it's any consolation, it's a third person shooter, but I'm sure it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um. Alright, if only we were quicker, man. This thing takes forever. Wait, 
Wait a second. There's no such thing as justified griefing. There's warfare, but we're not committing warfare here. Helps a little, but my reaction time is not fast. So I get my, believe me, I get my ass kicked on freaking hell divers. It's the worst. Oh, we haven't even really explored the exteriors that much, but look at this. Let's do some exploring. It has like a whole orbital ring on it. Oh, that's lit. I'm talking about if the person you grief griefed you before you grief that guy. I still don't think it's justified, man. I'm gonna be real with you. Look at the detail, the the fidelity on this. Ah, this is wild. Let me not accidentally go inside. This looks like that one command ship from Phantom Menace. Oh shoot, let me not get stuck in the geometry. It is a six space station. Look at this, bro. The amount of like intricacy and they're procedurally generated, so it's not like that you're gonna find this exact one on the next system. Each one has a different shape and different like additional modules that are put on top of it. That's legit. Look at that paint job. Look at the like the the relief. Like you can see the metal plating on it at this scale. Mega ships where they could carry multiple people. If they did that, they'd have to add content for that. Because you don't just want to be flying around with two people and not have anything to do, you know? They need to have, like, actual good combat missions or something. You know? Now, what's this? This is like a... This is just unreal, the amount of... And then down here, it looks like a city almost from the amount of lighting. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let me not get lost in the... And I like that they put the, the collision mask pretty accurate so you're not like clipping onto invisible walls like with the freighters. It is crazy. Wow. Okay, so let's swing on in here. Look at the thrusters. So it kind of like technically can move around, I guess. Or is that just the, the smoke from grilling burgers or something? Bro, chillax, Adrian. <laughs> chillax. Bro, I'm gonna ban you. I'm really gonna ban you, bro. If I had moderators, I'd tell them to ban you. Bro. Alright, I'm actually gonna ban you. Bro, there are children in this chat, bro. Chillax. This update to space stations modernized the game. Definitely. It was one of the places where it was lacking the most. Okay, so now this one has a red. Time to do a Ronnie McNa. I don't know what that means. This one has a red and black theme on it. But it looks legit. Exactly. Alright. Alright. Bro. Sorry, I'm gonna make you moderator here on the chat, okay? Um, don't ban him, but just if he says any other sus things, just uh, delete those messages, alright? I know him personally, so. Camera view. And remove chat messages. Hide. Okay. You're a standard moderator now, sorry. Alright. Back to. And let me delete that message too. Oh, you're too much, Adrian. Space stations felt repetitive and sterile. They're now. They put you as a sci-fi setting that looks so damn good. You're right, because we had um, the anomaly was updated. We had uh, planets were updated. We had um, what else? 
ships had been... Alright, Elliot. Thank you for stopping by. Um, what was I saying? Ships had been upgraded from like the low poly models to higher poly models. We had new ships, new everything. No steam mocking in the emoji tab. What can you say, bro? <clears throat> As, uh, stations was the only thing that was left pretty much untouched since uh, 2018, and it's been what? Six years since 2018? So we've had the same stations for six years. So it was way overdue for an update. How do I get the reactor stuff? Okay, each ship needs at least one reactor. Well, at least. Exactly one reactor to be built. So when you go here to the um, ship modules vendor. He's right here. Are you the ship module vendor, bro? Or exosuit. I think that's exosuit. Where's the ship guy? Over here. There you go. So you go to the ship guy. He sells not only... They have the same icon as the hyperdrive module, but it's going to be saying C-class, B-class, A-class, and S-class. And if you look, how many nanites it costs. So it's actually pretty expensive to have like the the reactor for a new ship. Not the most expensive thing, but it's not cheap either, you know. So you could buy here. And you also get a discount for having um different um rankings with the different factions and such. So then once you have those more parts and stuff. Excuse me. <sighs> You have to uh, salvage at least three ships. One for the fuselage, one for the wings, and one for the thruster. At least for fighters. I know that for the Explorer, there's a different setup where it has right wing, left wing, and hull. No thruster changes. And then for the hauler, where's hauler? Cockpit, wings, thruster. So there's always going to be three uh, aspects to each ship. And then the reactor depends on what class you get it is what class that ship is going to be so yeah the factions mean something exactly we always had the faction kind of like they would give you a random reward when you interacted with them but that's not the same as actually having like an option list of what you can redeem and and have actual discounts on stuff you know so yeah exactly there's a reason to max all that out so that's pretty dope Pretty fire. Alrighty, y'all. I have to work tomorrow, so I can't get more in depth, but I'm definitely going to make a video soon about the update. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you, Tricorder, for becoming a member. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. Y'all make this possible. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be doing any of this. I would just be talking to like an empty camera, an empty screen. <laughs> Y'all have a good night or good morning, depending where you're at. Wait, who just joined? Wait, sorry to whoever just joined, but I'm about to shut down the, the stream and all. But it's been a blast. It was really, really unexpected update. I knew it was coming soon, like the stations, but I did not expect any shipbuilding. I did not expect the different features that they're adding now. Bro. You have a good night too. Bruh, chillax, bro. Y'all have a good night.